morning, Quadcopter 101. What I got for you today is a review of the new Ishin Falcon 210. Now, the Falcon 210 is similar to the previously released Ishin, uh, I believe, Falcon 180, in that it has these uh, 10 degree pointed or forward tilted uh, motors, I believe, to give you a little bit of forward acceleration at the beginning of your flight. Um, they're kind of unusual. I, I don't really. I uh, like these because they always require a little bit of tweaking in the uh, flight control software to account for these if you want to do regular hovering, namely you uh, uh, adjust for the pitch uh, minus 10 degrees back uh, in uh, clean flight so that you can achieve normal hover with these. Uh, even, even then I don't think I have mine fully tuned yet to, to achieve a, um, perfect stable hover <laughs> with this. But with that in mind, these uh, motor mounts also serve as diffusers. This is one of the most brightly lit up uh, racer quadcopters that I've seen. There's tons of LEDs on this thing. Uh, so to make it visible, uh, this would be a great night flyer in other words. <laughs> You'd be really able to see this very easily with all the LEDs. Each one of these diffusers light up at night. Uh, with that in mind, you can also turn those lights off if so desired. There's a little bunch of array of dip switches down here to individually turn off each set of lights uh, one two and three and if you press switch forward it says it's supposed to turn them all off but it also turns off some important things inside here believe uh, the receiver <laughs> so you don't want to use switch four uh, i recommend using switches one through uh, one two and three if you want to turn off the lights uh, the quadcopter comes with a 700 tvl uh, camera and camera lens quadcopter comes with on-screen display information uh, particularly uh, the one that you really want for this is remaining battery power along with uh, you know tilt angles and for pitch and roll uh, that has that too um, additionally it comes with a 40 channel uh, FPV transmitter which is pretty darn cool and easily switchable too there's a little switch right there I don't know if you can see it or not folks but you push it in sideways and hold it down for uh, two seconds to change frequency bands I believe through R through here I'll tell you what those frequency bands are as you can actually see them uh, here on the, the uh, quadcopter and their bands R F E B and A which you can see there these little LEDs light up and also you get uh, channels one through eight for each one of those bands so you can easily set the um, on-screen display information or the uh, FPV frequency. Um, the antenna on this has not been optimized that comes with this. Uh, normally these should be 90 degrees out of an angle, you know, like that. But um, I guess you can manually <laughs> come up with a way to devise it to get your 90 degrees. They're not supposed to be side by side like that. Uh, let's see, what are the things I want to talk about? Comes with a 1500 milliamp hour battery. Uh, 3.7 volts, so it's uh, not 3.7, 11.1 is 3S battery, in other words, it comes with this. And let me put my glasses back on so we can discuss this a little further. Um, let's go into the transmitter itself. The transmitter comes with it is a Ishin i6 rebranded uh, Flysky transmitter. Um, the settings on this transmitter are not optimal they're not ready to go really out of the box here in other words these for the these are set up as your aux channels these rotating dials you're going to need to go into the menus and to go into the menus for this you hold the uh these trim buttons inward like so while turning on the transmitter and then you can go into the menus to change these aux channels from here to, uh, to better switches such as this one here for your three position switch and this one here for your two position switch for this one be aux five and aux six in other words um additionally i went into clean flight to see how this was set up stock out of the box and none of these switches were assigned uh in clean flight you know, in other words if you try to fly this out of the box in, with clean flight you are going to be flying in acro mode since nothing is assigned <laughs> 
Uh, if you want to fly this in horizon and angle mode, you need to go into clean flight and adjust accordingly. And I did such. Uh, one thing though, um, this I tried to fly this the other day in angle mode and it is not very stable in angle mode. As soon as I took it off the ground, it started oscillating. So, but I, then I tried horizon mode and horizon mode did work more or less. So today's flight's mostly going to be in horizon mode. Uh, we'll show you at the end of the flight if I if I have time here. We'll put it into uh, angle mode and I'll show you the problems there. With that in mind, you know, these are being sold as ready to fly out of the box. They're not really ready, the e -sheens. Most of the e -sheens are this way for some reason. Um, it's, it's like e -sheen sends these out and lets you figure it out out in the field. <laughs> and that's what we're going to do today, figure it out out in the field, what, how it flies. Um, as such, uh, I would recommend e -sheen racers for beginners into the sport. Uh, it's going to be a little more complicated than need be for uh, new FPV flyers. Um, people that have been around well with FPV flyers and are uh, familiar with clean flight and how to configure it and along with familiar and how to configure your transmitter, yeah, you, know, you can fiddle around with these. Uh, they're, they're pretty fun once you get them tuned in, but they're not tuned in out of the factory for some reason. Uh, most of these machines are not this way. I don't know. I understand why, but they're, <laughs> they're just not tuned in, ready to go, out of the box. So let's go for a flight. And uh, again, mostly this one's going to be mostly in horizon mode. Hope you enjoy this flight, quadcopter one. Well, let's go do it. Okay, the wind is picking up quite a bit here out in the lake, so I'm going to point it uh, in that direction there because that's where the wind's coming from. And we're going to start this thing up. First off, we'll turn on the transmitter or the 808 keychain camera that I have attached to the top of this, and get the 808 recording. It is recording, turning on the transmitter, and turning on the quadcopter by plugging it in. I want to put this wire here. And turning on my FPV receiver, my, and you should be seeing the um, on-screen display information on here. Right now it says we're in stable mode, which is, like I said, it has problems here. We're going to horizon mode. I switched to, to horizon mode. Um, we're disarmed right now and 12.5 volts. So we've got plenty of power here. Okay, again, we are in horizon mode. Um, again, I went into clean flight and I programmed these. This is angle, which is, seems to be unstable for some reason. This is horizon, second position, and all the way down I got it set to acro mode, which means I don't have anything set <laughs> for the third position. Okay, unlocking the quadcopter, and the wind's picking up. It's flying in the wind. It's that forward pitch, John <laughs> is able to fight that wind. Okay, let's take it around. going into the side. I'm getting a feel for it folks. I'm just flying it gently here in the wind. I can you see it here. Let's try a punch out. Ready, set. Oh man, there ain't no punch on this. <laughs> try it again. Bring it in. Punch. Very little punch on this. Very sluggish. Very sluggish. Okay, let's give it some forward. Very sluggish quad up there. Uh, maybe the this could use bigger props or something. <laughs> speed it up a bit, but uh, let's try that again. Oh, no punch on this. Um, I don't know what to tell you, folks. Let's try it. Going downwind. 
I'm flying this line of sight, folks, so I gotta be careful here. It, I guess it could be tuned in, but I don't know what to tell you about the, uh, maybe with uh, 4S battery would help it. Bigger props would help it, but right now this one seems to be a little bit heavy for the props that's, that comes with this. <laughs> okay, I'll bring it in the show yet. Okay. Oops. See, uh, I get a power there at the end there, and it's still hovering into the ground. But, let me check these. Okay, no dirt. Um, I don't know what to say, folks. Uh, this, this one seems to be a, kind of a sluggish flyer. But it's flying in the wind, though. Keep that in mind, too. I got a good breeze here, about 5, 10 knots. That. I'm giving a lot of power here. But it's just not a fast quadcopter. Back up wind. Going back downwind. Okay, what did I want to show you? Oh, yeah, the angle mode. Maybe somebody out there can help me with this. Let me bring it in and I'll show you what I'm talking about with angle mode. What the problem is. Let me land it right about here. Let's go to angle mode. I'll show you what. I hope I don't crash it again. But this is angle mode. Watch this, folks. Unlocking. Oh, and then it flips upside down. <laughs> I'm gonna do that again. Anybody out there know what the problem is with angle mode? Please help me there. Let me make sure there's no dirt gun in there, because I'd like to fly it in angle mode if possible. But right now, you know. There's no way. It's just so unstable. But you can't fly it in horizon. Horizon stability works. And the battery seems to be getting sluggish. Is it over already? <laughs> well, there we go again. Let's go up, up wind. Coming around, coming downwind. Yeah, this is getting sluggish. That's it, folks. I didn't get any warning about the battery run getting low either there, but it's getting sluggish, so I'm gonna stop it right there. So that's my flight of the F-210. Uh, my thoughts on it. It's not really ready for flight out of the box. It needs a little, some adjustment there. Let me turn off the camera too. Um, it does have a, a nice setup here uh, with the 700 uh, TVL camera, uh, the, the um, 40 channel FPV, on screen display. These motors aren't too, sh well, let's see, what these motors are MT2204 2300 RPM per uh, volt motors. They should give you the power, but that's uh, just, I think that these props are just not sufficient for this particular quadcopter. You need something bigger, probably triplates to give you the uh, oomph, if you want, want the oomph, and probably a 4S motor would give you the, uh, the added oomph for it. So that's my review of the F210. Hope you enjoyed this flight. It's Quadcopter 101, signing out.